one of these two men will be the next commander in chief of the U.S. military. They came to the stage knowing this was their last chance to convince a huge television viewing audience they were up to the job. For President Barack Obama, his message was clear. His opponent isn't ready. Governor Romney has taken a different approach throughout this campaign. You know, both at home and abroad, he has proposed wrong and reckless policies. For Governor Mitt Romney, his strategy seemed to be appear not all that different from the current president. You and I agreed. I could have in that. I could agree, agree more about going forward. And then make sure On Iran, there was little difference as both candidates promised to get tough. On Israel, both pledged to be their biggest supporter. And on the use of unmanned drones, agreement again. In their view, it's a weapon that needs to be used. One point of contention, the strength of the U.S. military. Our Navy is smaller now than any time since 1917. The Navy said they needed 313 ships to carry out their mission. We're not under 285. I think Governor Romney maybe uh, hasn't spent enough time looking at how our military works. You, you mentioned the Navy, for example, and that we have fewer ships than we did in 1916. Well, Governor, we also have fewer horses and bayonets because the nature of our military has changed. This part of the campaign now over. The candidates go on the trail. They will be sprinting from swing state to swing state, those handful of states that will actually decide who wins the U.S. presidency in just about two weeks. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Boca Raton, Florida.